we have to find the magnetic field due to a circular loop for this this is the circular loop with the center at the origin that is o and the current is directed in this direction and for this loop we have to find the magnetic field at this point p we now join p with this origin and this is the direction of the x cap now we joined this line and this is the r vector and here the angle between r vector and op is theta and the distance from o to p that is x and the radius of the loop is a now if the total length of the loop is l that is total length, then for a small length dl the magnetic field at p would be directed in this direction that is in this direction that is dv vector so now from bio safat's law we get that dv vector that's equal to mu not i by 4 pi dl cross r vector by r cube okay now the total field for the total loop would be like b that is the sum of integral now look that in this diagram that for dl that will be directed in this direction dv and this is the vertical component of dv and this is the horizontal and for the total length of the loop the vertical would be cancelled out and only remaining the horizontal component that is in this so that is also theta and the horizontal component would be for this dv sin theta ok so we write there dv vector sin theta and the direction is x cap ok now we put the value of dv vector there that is mu naught by 4 pi i d sorry dl cross r by r cube into sin theta x cap and mu naught i by 4 by is constant so it comes out of the integration integral dl cross r by r cube sin theta x cap that's equal to mu naught i by 4 pi here dl and r vector is perpendicular to each other because dl is and r the angle between dl and r is 90 degree so we can write dl cross r as dl into r into sine of angle between them that is 90 degree into sine theta by into x cap by r cube Now that's equal to mu naught i by 4 pi integral dl r by that is sin 90 is 1 and the sin theta x cube by r cube that's equal to mu naught i by 4 pi now look at this for a fixed radius a the angle is constant and the mag so sin theta is also constant there and also the magnitude of r vector is constant for constant angle theta so it will be constant r by r cube is constant and sin theta is also constant so it comes out of the integration and remaining dl into x cap so that's equal to mu naught i by 4 pi there will be 1 by r square there only into sin theta integral dl x cap that's equal to mu naught i by 4 pi now see the value of what is the value of 1 by r square the, from the diagram the r square that is r square 
that's equal to a square plus x square so now we can put this value there so it will be 1 by a square plus x square and also from the diagram sine theta the value of sine theta there is a by r that's equal to a by root over a square plus x square so we have to put this value there so that's equal to a by root over a square plus x square and the integral of dl the tot that is the total length of the loop and this is obviously 2 pi into radius that is 2 pi a so 2 pi a the total integration would be and this is x cap now that is mu naught i by 4 pi into 1 by a square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 into 2 pi a square x cap that's equal to mu naught i there are 2 pi 2 pi cancelled out so there will be only 2 into there would be a square by this a square by a square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 x cap thus we get the magnetic field at point p d to the loop now for mm, magnetic field at the center of the loop for the x equal to 0 that will be for x equal to 0 magnetic field at the center that will be equal to mu naught i by 2 a square by a square we put x equal to 0 so 0 3 by 2 x cap that's equal to mu naught i by 2 a square by a square to the power 3 by 2 x cap that's is equal to mu naught i by 2 a square by a cube x cap that's equal to mu naught i by 2 a thus we get the magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of the loop in the direction of x cap